would have said uh, on the 5th of January after we got swept at UNO that we'd be playing and winning games on Thursday night in St. Paul uh, over North Dakota. Uh, I would say that uh, you're crazy, but we've been on a good run here and uh, it really started at the very end of, of uh, February and, and it carried through here in the playoffs. And you know, tonight was a, I was happy with our guys because we didn't get overwhelmed early. We came out and got on top. Uh, we didn't really let that crowd affect us too much early. We kind of hung in there. Uh, the goal with nine seconds to go really hurt in the first period. And the fact that we didn't score on a five on three. But, you know, we kind of persevered. And, and uh, obviously Joe Howe is a huge part of our success recently. And he's giving us a lot of confidence and allowing us to be, uh, to be in all these games. And we've got a pretty good team concept going because different people, I mean, basically the fourth line uh, won the face off. And, and uh, Stoics put it, puts it in. And, we just got a real good uh, team concept going, and it's a huge win for us. And you know, we're just going to keep enjoying this and playing as a team here. Let's go ahead and direct our questions to the student athletes, please. Ryland, what did you guys think after the first period? I mean, you've been pretty op opportunistic. You've had taken a lead, and then all of a sudden, bang, North Dakota's back uh, ahead. What, what was the thought at that point? Um, well, they came out really strong and we kind of had us on our heels. We were fortunate enough to get the first one, with, which kind of got our momentum going a little bit. And then two late ones, you know, you, you don't want to get down. Um, but I stayed positive in the dressing room and I thought we had a really good second period. Alex, uh, do you mind telling me just a little bit about uh, Joe Howe Bailey you guys out tonight? Yeah, well, he's been, uh, he's been pretty hot for the past couple of games. And uh, when the season was finishing up, he was getting hot. So obviously he's played a pretty big role for that. And, it's helped us along the way and it's gotten us going. Uh, you know, we got we got faith in our netminders, so it's it's really it's given us a lot of faith. <clears throat> Biggest goal of your college career, Peter? For sure. <laughs> <laughs> tell tell us about it. Uh, in overtime, you know, anything can happen. And, uh, when you get the puck back at the point, as long as you get it by the first guy, you're doing your job. So I just tried to get it on net and and get it through, and luckily found the back of the net. Uh, Alex, your uh, short-handed goal changed the game. That's your third this season. Uh, is there something you look for uh, for the opportunity? Uh, Got to give credit to this guy. He, he looks for me. Um, it's just, uh, I don't know, it's just been a theme for us. I think uh, we just try to use our, our speed and our brakes and pick our head up before we ice it, uh, just to see if one guy's open and make some plays before we dump it. Uh, Ryland, uh, any sort of uh, tactic you're using against North Dakota is like we really seem to have them kept the outside, especially in the defensive zone. Uh, what worked for you guys tonight? What was the key to keeping them, uh, especially off offense tonight? Oh, we just wanted to kind of wear out their D a little bit. Uh, we kind of found out they weren't the fastest, but um, you know, getting pucks by them, uh, wear them down a little bit. Uh, we were in our D zone a lot, but blocking shots and wall play is really important for our team right now, and we've been doing a good job using the last few games in the playoffs here. Peter, were you worried at all when that goal went to reveal? I mean, Go like that. Go all that important. It's always going to be reviewed. But were you concerned at all that maybe, maybe it had been intentionally not in at the far post or anything like that? Uh, it seems like this year a lot of the goals that we score are going to review. So uh, it's out of your hands at that point. You just kind of wait and hold your breath and <coughs> hope that it counts. Any other questions from student athletes? Thank you guys. All right. Any questions for Coach Owens? Uh, another question about uh, the nice win for you. Obviously, stopping North Dakota for the first time in a couple of years uh, in the final five feels good enough. But how do you think that's going to help you against Minnesota tomorrow? Well, I mean, we're still playing. I mean, that's the big thing. We're going to have a chance for Minnesota. I mean, I, North Dakota is so good in this tournament. I mean, they've owned it uh, in a sense. Uh, the size sheet's very similar to theirs and, and uh, the crowd they have. And, um, you know, I just think it would give us confidence in this building. You know, I mean, we've played six straight road games now on NHL uh, size sheets, and I think it'll help prepare us for tomorrow, too. Scott, the book on the Tigers for the first part of the year was they can score eight goals on any given night, and they can give up eight goals on any given night. When did things start to come together more defensively? It's a great question. To be honest with you, it started to come together. We had the, the really tough series at uh, Nebraska Omaha. We gave up a ton. We had a really nice series in Grand Forks that we split. Then, we, then our schedule kind of started to turn a little bit. We weren't playing quite as much. 
I would say right around the 10th of January, our penalty killing got a little bit better, and uh, our deep guys like Stojkovic really started to come around. Harstad started to come around. McDermott really was playing well, and Joe Howe got on a roll. I mean, our goaltending up until the 10th of January was 88 and a half percent, and uh, you know we were playing a tough, tough schedule, and we were coming up short. I mean, we were close in a lot of games, and we were coming up short. It really started to come together there, uh, and. The, most of it's Joe, but I mean, you saw pen, pretty good penalty killing tonight. And not only was it pretty good, it was at time, it was at the right times. And I think that's helped a little bit. And our lines kind of make sense right now uh, in terms of people's roles and understanding it. And you know, that's a little bit of a page for the North Dakota book in that we just played a lot of different guys in a lot of different situations, and and uh, the line kind of makes sense right now. Scott, uh, North Dakota seemed to open uh, things up for you in the third period. Uh, no, 10 minutes and they tied the game. What was your message to your team in the bench to try to keep You know, I mean, it's, it's cliche, but it was just stay the course. I mean, we just had this long, tough series with Denver, and we just kind of stuck with it, stuck with it. And, uh, you know, do the things. Do, if you do things right, sometimes you catch a break, and sometimes uh, things work out for you. And I thought we were staying with the plan pretty good. You know, we've got some older guys that are playing quite well right now. You see the fresh energy of Hunter Fijas and Cody Bradley that they give us. You got a fourth line that totally accepts its role. You got a decor that's playing with a lot of pride, and, and of course, it makes a big difference when you get some goal tang. And Joe's been phenomenal for us. It's got to imagine you have a bit of confidence in your fourth line to have them out in a in the office. You know, draw and, and five minutes in overtime. Yeah, I mean, in Denver on Sunday, we we uh, we didn't play the Fijis Bradley line down the stretch. We played the, the blue line, the fourth line. And, but tonight, uh, we stuck with uh, Fijis and Bradley and Hamburg. But then once we got to that overtime with no t with TV timeouts, we were going to play four lines. Come hell or high water, we were going to do that. And if we lost, we lost. If we won, we won. Because it was the four lines that got us here through Denver. Jess? You've seen Minnesota, but not since November. You know, what, what are your thoughts on them and, and how well, you... Well, uh, you know, we, we haven't seen. I mean, we haven't seen. We, we catch little snippets of the, on TV. But, um, you know, they're big and strong, and they'll be good on a smaller sheet. and. Uh, you know, they, they played, they're probably really looking forward to playing somebody other than Bemidji, uh, <laughs> which they've said in the last two and a half, three weeks. And, um, you know, we're just going to stay with our deal, stay with our, our deal and see if we can make some good things happen. We respect them a ton. They're number one in the country. But because of the schedule we play this year, we're not really intimidated by anybody. We'll just get out there and play all of our guys and see if we can get a little bit of a role. Coach, if you can give us a percentage or a faction or whatever you like, how much of this playoff run do you think is down to Howe? Because, I mean, he has been great, but he's not the one scoring the goals at the other end. You know what? Howe is the one getting a lot of the accolades, and he should, because he's probably playing at 92.5%, <coughs> which is really good for, for us this year. But <coughs> there's a lot of good things happening with some of our defensemen. McDermott and Stojkovic are really playing well. And, um, and and we have had time. You know what, Ryland Schwartz was really good tonight. I mean, he was really good. He's barely mentioned at all. Um, he's uh, is well over 500, or he's 500 on our face-offs, which is for our team is good. Uh, he makes plays. He, he helps Krushelinski get in. I mean, he's playing like a senior um, that's played 155 games with 150 points. and. Guys like that are making plays, and, get, and other people are, are jumping on board. You know, we've got seven seniors, and they, they kind of accepted their roles. Uh, some of them aren't great players. Some of them are quite good. But uh, they're really enjoying the run here, and, and I'm very proud of them. I'm very happy for them. Looked like there were a lot of Gopher fans cheering for your uh, team tonight. Do you expect that tomorrow? Uh, no, but uh, hopefully the North Dakota fans will be there in <laughs> some other <laughs> state. No, I, you know, I hope the North Dakota fans stick around and cheer for us tomorrow. You know, we're kind of that Cinderella small school favorite story everybody likes. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll see what happens tomorrow, but uh, no, it'll be an adverse environment for us, but that's okay. We're still playing. Any other questions for Scott Owens? All right.